Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Nokia 4.2. And that's because the Nokia 4.2 is updated now to February 2022 when it comes to the software updates. We are running Android 11 on this device and I've been using this device for a really long time, but it's been coming up on about, you know, the third year because this device was released in 2019, right? So that means that I've been using it for a real long time because it was released with Android 9 with this device. And I want to get into the overall, you know, time that I've been using it so far. How has it been? How has it held up over the last, you know, two years, three years or whatever? Because this device was originally released in February 2019, right? It had Android 1 pr program, which allowed it to get two updates to uh, the Android system as well as three year security updates, I believe. So this device was released with Android 9 and has now Android 11 on here, which is pretty crazy with the February 2022 update. And so I want to get into the overall, you know, the overall feel in the hand, the build quality. I also want to get into the performance and the battery life, as well as the cameras and the software, as well as the overall user experience. But if it's your very first time to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through. If you're brand new to the crew, I definitely appreciate you. Uh, do me a huge favor, big favor. I encourage you to subscribe and get notified for more videos if you're brand new and enjoy technology, budget technology, just like me. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So let's just jump into the Nokia 4.2 after three years and obviously this has this is a phone that's held up really well. It has a nice plastic body to it which feels really solid actually. I think there's glass on the back because the way that that reflects light definitely feels like glass but if it's not glass it mimics it very well because it has this really nice reflection to it. The cameras are actually sunken in to the back of the phone, dipped into the back really nicely. So I really like how they did that. Then they managed to put the fingerprint sensor right beneath it with the Nokia brand in, in the middle. And then stamped at the very bottom of the phone, you will see Nokia branding um, and Android One stamped on the bottom of here. So they actually stamp it to let you know that it does have Android One. I don't think they, they do Android One anymore, but that was something that they did to promise you, you, you to get a certain amount of updates before the phone was out of life, right? So, you know, we do get a notification light on the side. It will definitely like light up and it'll fluctuate when you get a notification. Headphone jack at the top micro USB and a microphone down below as well as a single firing speaker. So that, that's pretty much the hardware. You do get some pretty decent clicky buttons on here and um, you do get some nice volume controls. Uh, as far as the volume rockers, it does feel pretty decent when you hit those. It, it has a nice solid structure to it. And so that's pretty much the body of this phone and the build. The cameras are going to perform really good, but we're going to get into that at the end of the video. So make sure you guys stay locked into the end of the video. And if you're still watching, make sure you type down below. I'm still here. So I know that you're still rocking with me right now, but I definitely think that would be solid if you did that. But so far, as far as the overall performance, we're rocking the Snapdragon 4.9, which is going to be performing pretty decent. And it, it can play games like Fort, Fort, um, not Fortnite, but PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile. Um, Asphalt 9, things of that nature. Three gigabytes of RAM on here, 32 gigabytes of internal storage as well as a 5.7 inch display. So this phone is going to be really nice with one-handed use and you're going to really enjoy that. It also has a Google Assistant. Are there any NCAA games on today? Currently Villanova is trailing Kansas 40 to 29 in the second half. North Carolina will play Duke at 8.49 p.m. Oh, that's crazy. So I'm going to definitely check out that. But you got to, um, the Kansas is up by 10 right now. And the, the the second half just started. So that's pretty crazy. But this device will give you the, that Google Assistant when you need it really quickly. Do drop at the top for the design. As far as the overall battery on here, you, you get a 3000 milliamp hour battery and the charging speeds are going to be pretty decent with like, you know, they. I think this thing has either 10 to 15 watts fast charging. So 
it's not gonna have the craziest charging speeds in the world, but you get the Snapdragon 439 to power it when you put the, as far as the performance and stuff. So it's gonna be pretty decent when you're playing games, watching social media, browsing through the web. It's gonna actually perform really good because it's got the 1.95 clock frequency on here. So it's gonna be clocked in really well when it comes to the frequency. And then we're also getting the Armali, I'm sorry, the um, Adreno, uh, the Qualcomm Adreno 505 on here, which is gonna be pretty decent. So. Not, a, not only that, you're getting the 13 gig, um, megapixel camera on the back with the two megapixel for portrait. And then around front, you're gonna be getting that, you know, um, eight megapixel on here. So the eight megapixel shooter. But so far this device has been just holding up really well over the last three years. I definitely think it has a nice longevity to it because it started out with the Android Pie on Android 9 and then now it has the Android 11. So, you know, I mean, it's still performing really good and it has a lot of nice features to it as well. So I definitely think this is a good performer and definitely would say that this is still a good phone. Why you would use this device still in 2022? Like, I definitely think if you still had this phone, you were still good for maybe another two or three years. But let me know what you guys think about the Nokia 4.2 in the comment section i definitely appreciate you for subscribing and getting notified but um you know as far as the build it's going to be pretty solid 295 for the pixels per inch you get an led light you get curved glass on here you get a nice small form factor 19 by 9 aspect ratio and ips lcd display it's it's 7 to 20 by 15 20 but it's it's a really nice um overall display on here so i definitely would say that it's a good display to look at when you're looking through social media fingerprint sensor on the back as well and then you know this thing that has that that feature where you could swipe down with your finger on the fingerprint sensor and because this is a small phone it works really nicely on here and it has a nice smooth performance on all around so i, I really like that part about it as well um so you know we're just getting a better better fix when it comes to the bugs and stuff like that and this thing does take overall good pictures so it's going to give you the february 2022 update and then we're going to get march probably in another month or so so and it's going to it's pretty pretty much coming to the end of life when it comes to the update cycle but it's still been a pretty good de device over the last three years and as you could still use it past that time but as far as getting security updates i think it has like one more year left or something but overall it's a really solid device but let me know what you guys think about the nokia 4.2 in 2022 and i'm gonna get right back with you i'll check you guys later peace